Okay, so in this problem, we're going to go over the TSA, total surface area, and volume of the triangular prism below. So this is a right triangular prism, and we could test that because this is really these dimensions 6, 8, and 10 tell us it has to be a right triangle because they fit the, the Pythagorean theorem because in this case, a squared plus b squared does equal c squared, right? Because 6 squared, that's one leg, right here, plus 8 squared, the second leg, does equal 10 squared, right? 36 and 64 is 100, and that equals 10 squared, which is also 100. So this is a right triangular prism, and that might help us a little bit. And to find the total surface area, um, well, let me solve the volume first. I find that a little bit more helpful. The volume of these shapes is quite easy in a way because all you have to do is find the area of this triangle and then multiply it by this dimension, the height or the length or whatever it is in your scenario. So really here, I'm going to find the area of the triangle and then take that and multiply it by the height. I'll call it the height here, but I'm referring to this as my height as h. So the area of this triangle times the height, and to do that I take 8 times 6 and divide that by 2 and then multiply all that by 12, and all I'm doing there is saying well the area of this triangle is 6 by 8 or 8 by 6 divided by 2. The area of a triangle is base times the height of the triangle divided by 2. So here that's 48 divided by 2, right? 8 times 6 is 48 divided by 2 is 24 and then we take that and multiply it by 12. To turn this, or to think about this problem, uh, what I'm going to do is first say, well, what is 12 times 20? And then what's 12 times 4? I took 24 and broke it up into two parts, 20 and 4. So 12 times 4, I'll start with, that's 48. 12 times 20, well, 10 times 20 is what? That's 200, and then two more 20, that's 240 add these up, I'm getting 288. And that's my volume. And I don't have, I, didn't, I forgot to put units in this problem, but that's okay. This would be units cubed. Um, because we're finding volume and it's cubic units. Now the surface area, I think, is also equally um, simple if we look at it in the right way. Uh, I, I don't get lost in formulas. I think about the idea of it, right? The surface area is going to be the area of all the faces added up. And this, this triangular prism is made up of two types of faces, rectangles, which I highlighted in green above, and triangles. So we have three rectangles here, here, and under there, and then, and then two triangles. And that's what the shape is made out of. So the surface area is just all those areas of these faces added up. So we already know what one triangle is, right? It's six times eight divided by two. So the two triangles is really each one's 24, multiplying that by 2. And again, we solve that here. The triangle is base times height divided by 2. And we have other videos that talk about why. And the three rectangles, well, this we just got to pay attention to which rectangle we have. This rectangle over here is 10 by 12. So I'm going to actually keep track of that down here. So one rectangle is 10 by 12. Two more to go. 10 times 12. Plus, the one on the bottom, you can see it's 6 by 12. Okay, almost done. And this rectangle on this side is really 8 by 12. So we're going to add up the areas of those three rectangles plus the two triangles, and that's our surface area. So the two triangles, right, 24 times 2, that's 48. Okay, two faces down, three more to go. I'm going to break this one up. We've got 120, that's 10 times 12 plus 6 times 12, that's 72, plus 8 times 12, that's 96, right? I'm going to add these up, so 120 and 72 and 96. So how would, I, how would I go about doing this? Well, first I'm going to add the biggest numbers. We have 120 and 70, that's 190, plus, plus 90 is 280, plus 6, 286, and then plus 2 more, 288. So all of our rectangles add to 288. But remember, all there's five faces here, so let's add them all up. So it's 288 plus 48. Well, I have no idea, but I do know that 
280 plus 40 is 320, and then plus 8 is 328, and another 8 is 336. And that's our total surface area. All right, hope this helped.